I don't have Traitor Meliodas, that's why I can't beat OG Demon in the Hell difficulty. In my opinion, that is just an excuse. Hey yo, Chixo here. Today we're going to show you guys how to beat the OG Demon in the Hell difficulty with both sides just using the Red Escanor. Because in my opinion, even though Red Escanor is of course a little bit um, inferior to the Traitor Meliodas, he's still a very very good unit to use in Hell as long you guys know what to do. The most important thing what you guys need to do, don't rank up or buff in turn 1 or turn 2. There's no reason at all to do that unless one of the teams took a lot of damage from triple AoE, but usually you should be still able to survive as long you guys use the right artifact card, for example, or the right backline. So in my opinion, um, if you have problems with surviving, just use this artifact set. This will be super helpful. The Arthur team will use the Tamiya link and then the Arthur, which is the only unit which doesn't get the stat increase or not stat increase, the damage decrease, he's going to heal up again. Also backline, you can change to, for example, Barn. Barn can reduce damage as well or also the red as unless in order to have passive healing okay that is number one and number two is going to be use emotes you need you really need um what it's called you really need communication the most important thing is if you have a rank up just show them that you have a rank up but tell them if you want to use the rank up or not so i've seen in the comment section as well as someone was saying hey i'm coming from another game um cc means crowd control i'm 100 percent aware that cc means crowd control but cc or ba basically the freeze and stun back in the days was only used in the red demons and that was only in like the first few months it's definitely not worth anymore and there's no other emote which explains the thingy as good as saying hey i have no cards please attack just go with it so in my other video i explained that as well the thing is I'm, for example, playing someone as well, so I 100% do know what crowd control is, because in that game, crowd control is super, super helpful. And um, then basically also saying, hey, I have a rank up, but don't rank up. Or, for example, when the enemy, or not the enemy, when the mate shows, hey, I have rank up, please don't rank up. So respond to them. Please don't rank up. Please don't buff. Because if people buff too early or rank up too early, I just leave because I'm just fed up. For me, it's not worth it to continue that demon. I won't carry them anymore. So, um... As I said, so basically the most important things are here, saying that you have a rank up, waiting for your mate. Also, never rush cards. Please never rush cards. I see a lot of people always using the golden single targets immediately in phase two. Like, why would you do that? Usually they do golden single target of melee first, uh, phase two in order to basically proc the passive so that you have no more cards in order to kill in that turn. That's the most stupid thing you can do. Of course, as well as that you have to proc um, the, the barrier first so that he won't evade melee cards anymore basically with a um ult or a single target of diane and now i would say we are going to jump into the runs i'm this time not streaming or anything we will just communicate with emotes another thing as well is you should be using the blessing if you have it so here's you can see very very nice um i'm not streaming as i said or i don't know if i said it already but uh, basically what we're going to do is i will show him that i have a rank up so now i can just basically burn cards and stuff and also another thing is let's talk about positioning so if you guys are not aware in the very first turn um we are going to draw the same card so basically because i draw this rank up he got another aoe um and um basically what we get is based on the positioning we get the same card so those it's mirrored for the enemy uh, for the other side so if i draw a diane card a left card he's going to draw a left arthur card so um let's just tell him again hey um let's just stall another turn Let's see if we can get more cards. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to burn some cards now. Also, Dylan is running ult gauge food because with ult gauge food, basically, my team, I'm still running attack food because we still or we have several cards which can actually deal a lot of damage while his card only the single targets do a lot of damage. So what we're going to do is basically we are going to um, rely more on the ults on the left team and on my team we can actually rely, uh, rely more on the cards also of course having an ult is very good to clear because if you guys are not aware in phase two basically if we do proc the evasion it only evades the normal damage card so basically ult still work oh very very nice um we got some very very nice card draw. so this is the reason by the way as well that's why we don't rank up in turn one or turn two because what is the reason number one if we continue until turn three, we have more good cards in our hands, at least potentially, because obviously, if, if, if unlucky, it, it's what it is, it happens, right? If we don't get cards, but we get more ult gauges. That alone is super, super helpful, because now what I can do is um, we can just do this and this, 
And here on the left side, he easily has some ults in order to basically finish off in case we can't kill. So what I can do is I can work on ults as well. Here as you can see, I just have to move one time with Diane and attack with um, Escanor and then we are good to go. So here very unfortunate, of course, because he doesn't use attack food, he can't deal the damage cap. But because I'm using attack food, it's still gonna be enough damage in order to kill in the first turn. Another thing as well is um, maybe Margaret on Escanor might be helpful because basically Margaret will increase the damage when he has a buff or not increase the damage, increase the stats. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get her ult and I'm gonna single target like this. And now the rest is um, Dylan's job. So basically Dylan's gonna attack a little bit. Um, Dylan gonna deal a little bit of damage and then Dylan is going to basically use the ult and then we should be good to go. So um, he didn't have to use a single target here basically because um, I almost, okay, almost. I don't do enough damage yet, but as you can see, it's very, very smooth still. It's basically still just the same thing as with Melly, just that, of course, our Escanor doesn't hit as hard as Melly. But where are the excuses, guys? Um, also, another thing, some people were talking about um, Terry. So someone told me, hey, uh, use Terry. He's, he's, he's the mega MVP. I do understand the idea of Terry, but the problem is... Um, and Terry didn't go as well. I didn't like him at all. Maybe it's a different team. Maybe I used the wrong team. So let me know in the comment section um, what Terry team you guys know about. But here, as you can see, it's a five turner with no issues at all. Um, just because we exactly know what to do. Stalling a little bit. Stalling until basically turn three to rank up. If we don't have a rank up, then it is unfortunate though. But here, as you can see, as long you know exactly what to do get the ults so basically as well as um if you don't have ults in the other team try to get some ults that's how easy it is to actually just clear it normally with both sides having escanor so um and then now imagine you use the red escanor and you run with the dark meliodas it would be so much easier right guys here we're going to show you guys the food really quick and also we changed our backline to Ragnarok Barn. So I think um, showing you guys Ragnarok Barn might be pretty good as well. Jericho works in this team as well because everyone is red. So the reason why Ragnarok Barn might be a little bit better is because um, the Elaine, she's going to increase 15% attack. Of course, the other stats as well. But um, Barn is going to increase 10% attack related stats. So maybe in this team, the Elaine is not that impactful, but in the other team with Meliodas where um, also his own stacks get increased, it's going to be super great. But that's why um, for now, I think just changing it back to Barn might be pretty good because then we take even less damage, which is very, very good. And yeah, let's just see what is going to happen. Hopefully we're going to get good cards. It would be very nice um, as usual to just draw a rank up in turn two because then we know, okay, we don't need to burn some cards. So, okay, unfortunately, I have no rank up. So hopefully Dylan has a rank up. That would be very, very nice. Um, yes, okay, very good. Because our card draw looks very, very good. Um, there's no cards we need to burn besides of the AoE. But the thing as well is we need to place our cards a little bit better. So here you can see um, the placing or ult gauges is also very bad. So what we're going to do is we are going to do this. We are going to... Um, I would say burn this AoE here. So the two star AoE is not necessary. And then we're going to move it like this so that I get those additional ult gauges. And now Dylan, as you can see, if he has good cards, he's going to keep them. He's going to keep those good cards here. Um, of course, because we don't have the Dark Meliodas, we don't get the Grey stack. So he's going to merge the Arthur cards in order to just burn and get more ult gauges so that he has the ult ready. And mwah, perfect. We even have another single target of Diane. So here, as you can see, this is basically the exact showcase run why you don't rank up in turn one and turn two because all you do is as i said once again I, I i will repeat it because people still seem not to understand don't rank up all those bad cards like for example the gotha aoe and stuff what do you do with that so now what i'm going to do is basically um still we need to do double single target unfortunately um i think the this single target and this single target should be finishing off so i think um that's gonna work out and then we are going to basically move to transition and um, Dylan, as usual, he has the ult because he basically has ult gauge food so he can finish off the additional damage. Here, as you can see, Barn actually dealt more damage. So I think, yeah, I guess um, because we have Barn backline now, it's much, much better. So maybe the AOE might have been enough. So definitely um, in this team, Barn is much, much superior. But um, in the Meliodas team, if Meliodas is your main damage dealer, then 
the Elaine is superior. So here, what we're going to do is just normally, oh, very nice. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. And I will do this and the rest will be Dylan's work. So what he's going to do is um, he has to look for the ult of Escanor. It would have been a little bit better to um, AOE with the Escanor first, but hopefully we're going to kill. But here, as you can see, thanks to the um, barn backline, we actually deal much, much more damage. I actually didn't expect that the damage difference with the barn backline is so much better and also more crit chance for Arthur is definitely good for the Sever card to actually ult, uh, to actually crit. So um, it's not always happening, but it can happen, guys. So now basically what we're going to do, do as much damage as we can. And ah, fuck, I should have told Dylan not to attack. I could have I could have just finished without Dylan's help and um, it would have been GG. See, as you can see, um, I would probably deal the damage cap. Okay, very, very close to the damage cap. But that's basically how easy it can be, even though we are not using a trader melee at all. So everyone who says that without trader melee, you can't finish the hell demon without any issues. As I said at the beginning, that's just an excuse. Okay, guys, because the run went so smooth with Ban, um, I decided that we should do another run. Um, we are using Merlin Link now because I think with Merlin Link, just in case if we desync the buff of Arthur, for example, um, it would be good to actually have the Fated Link ult. So basically the ult um, will increase way more damage if we do have Merlin as a Link um, to eventually deal the damage cap even if we don't have um, what it's called, even if we don't have the um, golden Arthur buff. So let's see what is going to happen. I really hope we are going to just get the proper starting again where we are going to get the rank up, then a lot of good cards. So let's just see. Um, starting is decent. Getting a single target is always good, but um, starting with an AOE of Ascona would be the best because then it means Dylan would have the rank up. But yeah, let's just see what is going to happen. So hopefully we're going to get like um, more single targets or even the rank up. Rank up obviously is the most optimal card draw we can get. And um, okay, nice. We have the rank up. Awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The card draw is great. So here, as usual, we're going to just tell him, hey, not going to be worth the rank up because we're using the Arthur team. So it's never worth it anyways. Don't merge it like this. Okay. Don't merge the Arthur cards together. Uh, don't merge the Gotha cards together merge the cards in between to the outside so that uh, basically we are going to let it merge still but we get the ult gauges of the cards we actually need because the ult gauges we want to have are obviously the ult gauges of arthur and uh, not arthur why do i say arthur today all the time um of Escanor and also of dylan so very unfortunate that we the, our last card was going to be an aoe i would have loved to draw another single target or also a taunt might have been pretty good but if we draw another taunt later that works as well just um i want to do the damage cap with diane that would be pretty cool but might be not that possible so we're going to rank up now um now we're going to just use one single target of Escanor and one single target of Diane as well and yeah so hopefully we're going to draw a taunt so that we can use um or so that we can rush the ult and have the taunt as well in order to deal the damage cap with the ult as we have to move one time or of course um if we do have a single target of um the Diane that would work as well but here as you can see very very easy clears again um, but once again, our Diane is on attack build, so attack defense or attack crit damage doesn't really matter too much because it's rarely to crit in the first phase and in the next two phases it's even harder to crit. So um, attack defense just to have some more CC is pretty good. So what we, oh nice, we do this, we do this, we do this. Now it's basically Dylan's job again to just finish off. Let me, th this is the only communication I will have with Dylan, okay? Um, let me attack first before you because i'm pretty sure i can actually kill without dylan's damage at all so basically as you can see um the Escanor team in my opinion is just as strong as the meliodas team so we can flex a little bit um we're just going to use the three cards and just imagine um dylan would be attacking as well or your partner would be attacking as well obviously you can easily kill as well so here bam those three cards should be killing but he still has like insane cards and even if he didn't have that single target he still would have had at least the ult of gotha and also the ult of Escanor. so that's how easy basically this um boss is so yeah easy peasy lemon squeezy and 
now i hope you guys are able to do this demon now as well you guys know what to do so don't rank up don't buff too early just stall a little bit so that you can draw better cards in order to clear it perfectly fine i really hope it was helpful or you enjoyed watching this and now that you can run og demons please don't be pepega don't rank up in the first turn or second turn unless all the cards are good but if you do use this team you have to stall in order to get some good cards and of course also don't buff with Arthur too early because else it will desync and you won't have the buff for all turns and yeah I really hope it was helpful and enjoyed watching this thank you so much for tuning in and peace out for now of course also comment like and subscribe